Anzac Day long weekend, so we um, came up to the high country to do a hut trip. Just about to head up Plain Creek track to uh, Tomahawk Hut, and then to Razorback Hut to camp there for the night. Got to Tomahawk Hut, which is pretty cool. Um, about to start heading down towards Razorback Hut to meet mum and dad there for the night. Dad had work today, so he's going to meet up with us tonight. And then tomorrow we'll head up towards Bluff Hut, Craig's Hut, um, do 17 mile Jeep track, Bluff track, and a few other cool things. Um, so, yeah. What you doing? Just heading up number three road, which will take us to number three hut and then into Razorback Hut Campground. <laughs> Went to Razorback Hut, which was pretty cool. Had a bit of a look around. Um, all the campsites there were packed though, so we ended up finding a little campsite just along the road. Uh, be good enough for tonight. Get set up. Doing uh, chicken skewers or chicken kebabs, whatever you want to call them tonight. Found uh, metal skewers at Woolworths the other day, so I thought we'd give it a shot, see how we go. Gonna do them on the fire, put the grill top on top of the fire. Hopefully they work out alright. Just gonna cut up the chicken into cubes. Um, and then put them on a skewer with some capsicum and onion. And then wrap the potatoes in foil and put them on the fire as well have some uh, diced up all the chicken and put it back in the bag that we got it in got a honey soy marinade from Woolies just gonna pour that in the bag just a fair bit of it and then uh, shake it around and then mix it up with all the veggies and that on the skewers and then chuck it on the fire
Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my best. That's not gonna work. Chicken. Dad got here late last night, so gonna go down to Razorback Hut again, just show him that, and then um, head off to Howquid Gap Hut, uh, Gigi's hut, and then up to Craig's hut, and see how much further we get today, but that might be it for the day. It's got to Razorback Hut, it's pretty cool. It's got its own little toilet block over there. And then the hut on the right is all the beds for sleeping and then on the left is like the kitchen and fireplace and stuff. Heaps of campsites around here as well. We're just going down Circuit Road and Dad's aerial fell off, so Dad's just out there looking for it. Um, just be able to get to Haukwa Hut and then from there go up Clear Hills Track, which would be pretty cool. Um, and that'll take us to Bluff Hut and Craig's Hut. Going up Howqua Gap Trail. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to see at the hut, so we didn't really film it. But yeah, we've got this trail towards Craig's hut. Parked up the cars and walking to the top of Mount Sterling, have a look at the view. It's pretty awesome up here and then we'll uh, head across to Craig's hut and have some lunch there as well.
I'm all behind. Uh, still on Clear Hills track, making our way to Craig's Hut. We're just about to go past Monument Track, which will go down either tonight or tomorrow, depending on what we do. Just leaving Craig's hut, gonna go down Monument Track to a campsite. I think there's three campsites along the river um, around the bottom of Monument Track, so we'll go down there and have a look and pick one. We just got off Monument Track onto Bindari, Bindari Road. Um, we're just heading up to the falls now to have some lunch and then we're going to continue along this road until we can find a campsite for tonight. There's apparently three along this road so hopefully one of them's not too busy. At Bindari Flat Campground, it's only about five minutes from the waterfall that we're at, which was pretty cool. Um, all just had a shower, which was freezing. Got the river running just behind us. Dad's getting the the fire going with his blower. I think Mum's about to start cooking dinner, and Ziggy's just running the muck like always. Zig, what you doing? <laughs> this morning so we decided that we weren't going to do those tracks that we said we were going to do so we just jumped straight back onto the highway and we stopped at the Yacht Cafe for lunch and now we're on the highway heading home 
Um, it was a pretty good trip. Ziggy, it was Ziggy's first trip. She is passed out in the back seat. Um, but yeah, it was really exciting to take her on her first little trip. It's gonna be the GQ's last trip with us. Um, it's gonna be going up for sale when we get home. So anyone that's looking for a GQ patrol, let me know. But uh, we'll be getting another Nissan, just a GU patrol set up for a bit more touring and all sorts of stuff. So that'll be pretty cool, but yeah. GQ's last trip, so let me know if you want one. <laughs>